Okay, this is also great. Um, and when I say great, I mean absolutely atrocious and impossible to listen to. I haven't talked about James Stefani Sterling in a long time because his videos suck. There was a little while where he made like two videos where he was doing okay. The videos were kind of longer than they need to be, but they were like kind of a return to form. They were just a little bit shitty. Uh, but he very quickly gave up on that. Uh, unironically, or without exaggeration rather, not unironically, but without exaggeration, every single video that he does now has at least five direct references to him taking t uh, estrogen and um, his penis and that he sucks dick. Basically every single video and every single joke. He used to have all these bits where he was, um, he would have like all sorts of little comedy bits and reoccurring gags that he would put back into his videos. And those have all been replaced with just the punchline being, I'm a man whore. I take estrogen. I have saggy bitch tits that are really big. My penis doesn't work anymore. My balls are soft, he says. And that's it. That's the joke. Ha ha. Um, peak comedy. This one is about Bobby Kotick, and it's it's an old drum that he likes to beat, and it's worth beating because Bobby Kotick should be basically thrown into a pit of burning tires at this point in time. Uh, however, there's a, a particular point that I have uh, time stamped already that I will play for you because I found it very funny. Nobody except maybe the man himself and his family, and even that's uncertain, denies that Bobby Kotick is a monstrous little man whose abusiveness, nastiness, heartlessness and greed has earned him the ire of the masses there's been a not insignificant pushback to that ire manifesting in the particular expression of photoshopped horns this is on account of Kodak's Jewishness and the historically anti-semitic implications of portraying Jewish people as devils which you know it's fair enough to find that link more than a little uncomfortable. The Jimquisition stopped adorning Kotick's visage with demonic accoutrements for this very reason, as despite the clear fact it's specifically about Bobby Boy as an individual, some viewers were nonetheless uncomfortable, and I really don't need the aid of infernal embellishments to make the point that Robert A. Kotick is a despicable fucking wanker. He's also started calling those photoshops anti-Semitic himself. Like, he's worked out that play, so don't give him the ammo. That said, whether we do this with horns or via some other method, we absolutely, positively need to ensure that Bobby Kotick's dating life remains hilariously fraught with the ever-present threat of women finding out how much of a cunt he is. So, I did not know that Bobby Kotick was Jewish until Jim Stefani Sterling did a base in red pill early life search on him and pulled up that he was Jewish for the sake of making sure not to portray him in anti-Semitic. I don't know how the fuck devil horns are anti-Semitic. You put devil horns in anyone that you, you don't like. I don't know how that became a, an anti-Jewish trope, but okay, I guess. I guess portraying Jews as demonic entities is anti-Semitic and uniquely off offensive to them. If we really want to go that way, we can do that, I guess. There are other timestamps for this. Um, uh, two more. Be warned, this is really gross. Uh, if you are a Serbian man who finds offense in disgusting shit, um... You may turn around now. Actually, you know, I'll show you that too. This is an example of the jokes he makes. Every union you come across, just hand wave the reason away. Oh yeah, it didn't play by the rules. Moving on. It's about as informative as me saying I don't suck every consenting cock I'm offered. Just the ones that make me want to really suck dick. Shit, that reminds me. I was in the middle of something before I started recording. Oh my God, Keegan, you've been stood there the whole time. I'm so, 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 oh, 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 oh. There we go. Sorry. Fucking ADHD. I swear, next time I'll finish you off before I check my emails and then get distracted and do an entire script. Okay. You're a pal. See you next week, Keeks. Bobby Kotick's idea of but, playing oh, by the rule. But he likes to complain that YouTube keeps demonetizing him for sexual content. He did an entire video. Literally, his entire last video was about how unfairly his video was marked as adult content because, um, and how that penalized him in the search algorithm. How YouTube censored the Michelangelo. He said that the Michelangelo was considered sexual content. So now he just does dick sucking, like, bits in his video. And he's going to complain more when that's marked as not safe for work, I guess.
Uh, and one more thing. This one's not gross. It's just uh, offensive, I suppose. You women's champion. And, uh, there you go. While I was off doing wrestle fighting. This is Thank the, you this is the best. so much, darling. And, uh, ow. Still, PCW women's champion, by the way, Commander Stephanie Sterling. Yeah. At Pride of the Ring 2, I did successfully defend this title. Um, before we go, uh, just a little bit of promotion for my... Oh, I was unironically muted for once. So that's like his favorite thing to do now is that he's like six foot six, 300 pounds, and he loves to just beat the fuck out of women and then make fun of them and hold his wrestling trophy. And he just says that he's the best. And that's like his new hobby. He literally, I think he even says that he moved twice. He moved from Louisiana up to Chicago to be closer to the indie wrestling circuit. And then he moved back to the United Kingdom where there are like these inclusive wrestling circuits. So he moved twice. He moved to back to his home country of the United Kingdom to, to get away from bigotry and to be closer to wrestling so that he can uh, beat the fuck out of those those uh, British, those Angloids, Angloid f femoids, and declare himself champion. And that's just his hobby, which is pretty funny. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.